Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my video. So today we are talking about the infamous uh, clutch pedal springs. I already talked about these springs on two other videos. I'll leave the link up here on the, the screen. Um, also, you may know that these springs are not available anymore, but if you are near or you have access to a, a spring factory, you can order the spring with the specs you want. So that is what I did. I've, I actually um, ordered some 20 or 30 springs, and I sold them to my to my friends. And uh, but but today the idea is to how to change this spring with relative ease, because as you may know, this spring here may be difficult to uh, replace. But if you do one little change. On the operation you can change it more easily let's see started consider subscribe on the channel share with your friends hit the like button and on the description below check it out all the information in this way it's easier to continue work on my alpha 33 i know i don't have a lot of videos for my 33 but they are coming believe me uh, also on my 75, you already know about the um, engine repair, the par partial repair on the engine, suspension on the front, complete suspension overhaul, brakes on the front, complete repair, and some other stuff, the radio as well. On my Alpha, Alpha 155, I really don't have a lot of material uh, yet, but I'm preparing here some videos about the... This is a 1.9 liter turbo diesel, or two liters of diesel on some countries. And um, I have some videos prepared for it, um, namely for the um, delivery pump, the diesel delivery pump, for more power or more uh, fuel economy. On this case, maybe we can do both. Uh, and on my Alpha 156, you already know it. I have a lot of videos on it, including the video today. So let's do it. As you can see, down there is a spring with that white part and in here we have our master cylinder for the clutch and we have to take care of this here. The next step is to take out the spring pin that is in here on the shaft of the clutch pedal. Sorry about the vibration. Here it is. Take out the washer, like this, and now what you need to do, I mean, the intention of this is to take out the tension on the spring. In this way, what we can do is to release here the, the clutch pump, the master cylinder, and now the pedal is way up here. As you can see, the clutch pedal is much higher now and the rest, the brake, the, the brake pedal, for example. Just one quick tip before I forget. While you are doing this, the, the clutch pedal is much higher and the, the clutch pedal switch sometimes or most of the times uh, becomes stuck on that position. So you have to take out the, the switch and uh, with a pair of pliers, pull out that center white part. Another quick tip here, if you are tempted to lubricate this shaft here, don't do it with uh, petrol-based grease because you are you will damage the, the the rubber seals that it has inside and then you and then you will have a leak from your master cylinder pedal, clutch pedal. Okay? Only use the proper greases and the lubricants for this function in others. The next thing you want to do is to take out completely the switch for the, the clutch pedal, take it out to make room for more pedal movement. Of course you can take out the the, the clutch pedal switch um, off the, the plug, but you don't need to. You only need to rotate this a quarter of the, tar of the turn 
um, and the, the switch will come out and you don't need to disconnect the plug. I only take it out so you can see better. So the, the switch is more or less uh, hanging on this position here. You can, can take it out to, for example, pull this pin out. So it was on the inside like this. And you can pull it like this and test it. It's good. Okay. How easy, how easy it is to take out now the spring? Mega easy. Look at this. Completely free. If the spring was broken, it already will be on the on the floor of the car. Okay. Now just grab it. You can take out that that pin. I will take it out so you to see to replace the white parts as well. What do we have here? On the firewall side, we, we have those two dimples right there that hold on the the spring assembly. And on the other side is on the, 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 the clutch pedal, as you just saw. This is the spring assembly, of course. And on this side is the, that uh, pin, this pin that we, we took out of the pedal. And on the other side, these two pegs here, go on those two dimples on the firewall. That's simple. You don't need to, to do any strength at all. You don't need to force anything. Just follow these steps and you will replace this very, very easily. Now to assembly this, just follow the same steps, but obviously on the re in reverse and it's done. If you want to lubricate all these plastics with the pedals and so on, don't do it with, uh, again, the same story I know. Don't do it with this, this um, petrol base. I have, I, have, I have lack of space because of the camera and the light. And it's because it's inside there. So don't do it with uh, normal grease. You have to, to use dedicated greases for plastics. If don't, you are damaging a lot the plastics. Let me see if I can put a pin. It's in. The dimples down there are also in. I can test it by the way. Okay, now they are in. Like this we can actually see the function of this spring, like I told you on the other videos. You can actually see the spring recovering the, the pedal. And if you pass midpoint down, it actually helps you to press the pedal. Look at this. Awesome. Now the, the next step is to is not to put the the switch on. I recommend you first to put the clutch cylinder first to avoid. Now this you don't need this brute force. You just need. To uh, try to put it on the right moment, cannot see. Sorry, no, I'm doing it doing it wrong. It's like this. Okay. Okay, excellent. Now, the next part is really no. You can test the your pedal. It's perfect. You can see the movement of, of uh, the, uh, the entire assembly. The next step, yes, is to put the, um, the switch. And the reason why you don't want to put it before is to avoid the switch to become stuck like it did on the disassembly. Now, what, what do I recommend you to do? Is to, with one hand, push the pedal and with, the, with your left hand, grab the, 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 the switch and put it put it in place. Unfortunately, oh, your hand or a, a piece of wood or something do hold down the pedal. I don't, I don't have a GoPro to to put in there. Uh, it will be very difficult to to capture on film. 
the assembly of the, the switch, but I will try. Now with your left hand, really close to the pedal, grab your switch assembly, try to, put, to fit on the, the hole, it only enters on one position, once you think it's in that position, try to turn it, have a turn, it's left actually, and uh, okay, it stopped, disengage, and it's done guys. For more videos like this, please consider subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button. Also, on the description below, there is a lot of information that can be useful for you. Bye!